left in the world where there's no mobile phone coverage, no ATMs, only 400 tourists allowed at any one time and cars can't drive over 25 k's. Well, such a place actually does exist and they call it the last paradise. You can be in paradise in two hours from Sydney or Brisbane and you won't even need your passport. Lord Howe Island is about 600 k's off the east coast of Australia. This is one of only four island groups globally to make it onto the UNESCO World Heritage List due to the extraordinary range of wildlife. Capella Lodge is the most exclusive address on the island. It's got the best views of Mount Gower, plus the resort's just had a big makeover. And the lodge restaurant is reserved exclusively for guests if you really needed another reason to think about booking in. Now I'm really excited to show you my accommodation here. I feel like a little kid in a candy store. They have thought of everything. I've got a tree in my living room, a plunge pool on the balcony, just in case I feel like a dip. Indoor, outdoor living. I've got a shower out here and to cap it all off, a bathroom on the balcony. Wait until you see what's upstairs. Incredible view aside, it's the thought that's gone into the details at Capella that will keep you captive. This one is brand new. If you want to check in, ask for the Lidgebird Pavilion. Okay, the only other thing that may be able to pry me away from my room is my very own golf buggy. Oh yeah, I'm off to explore. While we're still technically in New South Wales, the main drag of Lord Howe feels like it's a long way from Pitt Street. Ned's Beach was voted Australia's cleanest beach in 2005. It's a popular place to hang with tourists and locals, both land and sea based. There are hundreds of fish who know they'll get a good feed at nets and they stick around all day. This is a really unique experience. I've never seen anything like it. They just come right up to you. It's like, <laughs> he, he just patted it. <laughs> They're decent size. Yeah. Is it the big oh, closest, closest you've been? You get to come to and do something like this. Fantastic. A word of warning, the fish can mistake you for the main course and have a little nip. <laughs> but lucky for me, the town doctor is on hand. So you can save me if one of them actually bites me? Uh, depends, depends how much they bite. <laughs> Why do you think the fish and the people are so friendly here on Lord Howe? No, it's just a, a, a great atmosphere and as soon as you step off the plane, within an hour, you just certainly unwind and you just have that friendly feel about it. It's just yeah, it's very cool. easy to get in holiday mode. <laughs> it is terrific. None of this three days. It's, it's instant. <laughs> After the break, experience.